Marine Gurukul Online Academy has launched a number of modules to help the students understand the concepts and also pass their examinations for certificate of competency. For schedule and other details, please keep a look out for our releases and updates on our YouTube channel. For any further details, you may write to us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. Welcome to Marine Gurukul YouTube channel. We are pleased to present question number three in our video series on chart work, typical MMD exam questions. From a position five nautical miles south of Bill of Portland Light, at 20 hundred hours, a vessel steered a certain course, engine speed 10 knots. Current setting 045 degrees true at 3 knots. Wind southerly leeway 5 degrees. At 2100 hours, she altered course to 105 degrees true to pass 10 nautical mile south of the needle's light. Find the course steered from 2000 hours to 2100 hours and the time when vessel will reach south of needle's lighthouse. 10 miles off. Wind direction, current, and engine speed remained same throughout. So here is the chart of the region for which the question is given. Here we have the Bill of Portland light. Here we have the needle light. From the given information, we can plot the 20 hundred hour position with bearing and distance of the Portland light. And on the chart, we have the 2000 hour fix coming up. Now, from 2000 hours to 2100 hours, we know the wind experienced by the vessel. We know the current effect on the vessel. We know the engine speed of the ship, but we do not know the course steered. So, from 2000 hours, there will be two displacement vectors which will be responsible for shift of vessel's position or change of vessel's position from 20 hundred hours to 2100 hours. One will be the displacement caused by the CTS uh, uh, allowed for wind, that is effective course and the engine distance for one hour. So that is the displacement vector one. And the second displacement vector is because of current acting for one hour from 20 hundred hours to 2100 hours. Now these two vectors can be applied at 20 hundred hour position in whichever order. You can apply the effective course engine distance first and then the current or the current first and the ship's displacement because of our course and speed second. Now since we are not given the course steered, so we'll first uh, factor the displacement caused by the current from 20 hundred hour position because of the set and drift for one hour and from position A we now here have allowed current for one hour which will basically if ship was stopped and drifting with the current the current would have taken us to position B. At B now we can allow for the second vector but for the second vector we only know the engine distance in one hour. We do not know the course steered. So now with B as center and 10 nautical miles as the radius. What is 10 nautical miles? That is the engine distance in one hour between 20 hundred hours to 21, 20 hundred hours and 20, 100 hours. So with B as center and 10 miles as radius, since I do not know the CTS, but I know the distance I'll cover. If I draw a circle, the circle will be my position circle at 20, 100 hours. Why? Because if I'm anywhere on this circle, I'll be 10 miles off from B and that will make, that will allow for my engine distance and wherever my fix may be, that will give me the course that I steered. So what have we done? We have obtained a position circle for 2100 hours drawn with point B as the center and radius 10 miles. Then from 2100 hours, what do we know? 
we know the course she steered the engine disc the speed she had the current she experienced and the wind she experienced and we have to pass a point 10 miles south of the needle's light so what we'll do is somewhere on the chart the close vicinity of the question wherever we have the space we'll draw a vector triangle for one r now to draw the vector triangle first we'll allow for wind because we have to allow for both wind and current so when we allow for wind on cts of 105 degrees true southerly wind leeway 5 degrees that will give us an effective course of 100 degrees true so at a point x we have drawn the effective course and the engine distance for one hour that is effective course is 100 degrees true into 10 miles at y will allow the current current is setting as shown by the set vector y to z it is 045 degrees true into 3 miles the drift in one hour that means x to z would be the course made good after 2100 hours x to z will be the course made good after 2100 hours and making good this course the vessel is expected to pass 10 miles south of needle slide that means the vessel is expected to pass through point c while she is making good a course which is represented by direction x to z so we have the course made good from 2100 hours we have a fix through which this cmg will pass so we can transfer this cmg through c and wherever it touches the 2100 hour position circle because the vessel would have been on this line until she reaches point c so at 2100 hours obviously the vessel would be here at the intersection of the position circle at 2100 hours with this cmg line drawn through point c so this gives us the fix at 2100 hours so now when we join b to d what would have brought us from b to d this would have been the effective course of the vessel why because the vessel is also experiencing wind so this will be the effective course of the ship from 2000 hours to 2100 hours and then now whatever we read it off from the compass rose we can counteract remember now you have to counteract wind which is southerly causing a leeway of five degrees and when you counteract wind on this effective course that you get from the chart you will get the course steered the cts between 2000 hours and 2100 hours so what will be the answers the direction from b to c is the leeway track this is the leeway track or the effective course from 2000 hours to 2100 hours CTS will be the course that you get after counteracting southerly wind leeway 5 degrees on the effective course. Speed made good by the vessel can be obtained from this 1 hour vector triangle and that will be equal to XZ. Distance to make good to reach point C that is 10 miles south of needle slide will be d to c from 2100 hours position so dmg from 2100 hour fix to position 10 miles south of needle slide is represented by dc so what shall be the time when the vessel expects to reach south of needle slide 10 miles off that is eta point c will be equal to 2100 hours plus the steaming time thereafter which shall be distance made good dc divided by speed made good xz i hope this question is clear to you now here we had to make this triangle separately why because this needle slide is right at at the border of the chart now if this was if there was more room to the right this triangle could have been drawn at c allowing the effective course then your current and getting the cmg and then extending the cmg backwards 
but in this chart since there was no space to the right of needle's light in this particular chart therefore this vector triangle can be drawn separately hope this is clear to you now we come to end of this video if you find it useful please like it share your comments subscribe to the channel if not already done press the notification button so that you get updates on further releases thank you very much for watching marine gurukul video series happy learning